had my bathtub toys. You should have seen my bathtub toys. It was an electric fan and a hair dryer. Oh, I'm telling you, I don't get no respect with that, you know? I used to go play in my sandbox. Our cat used to come out and try to bury me for a crack out loud. Oh, things are going so great with me, I just signed a contract with General Motors. Yeah, I bought a new car. I got one of those Italian sports cars. I don't know if you've ever seen them. It's called the Mafia. The only car that comes with a hood, under the hood. That's right. Every time I'm in a cab, I get weird, kind of kinky. You know the difference between weird and kinky, don't you? Weird, you use a feather. Kinky, you use the whole chicken. So I says to the cabbie, I says, hey, Mac, why don't you take me where the action is? Son of a gun takes me back to my house, for crying out loud. <laughs> then I saw my next door neighbor running across my front lawn. Naked as the day he was born. I said, Joe, what are you doing? Run across my front lawn naked. He says, you got home early. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was so depressed, I go down to my neighborhood bar, Jack's bar. Yeah, I've been going there for years. Jack knows me, I know Jack. I'm sitting at the end of the bar. Whoa, it's me, you know, I'm there. I'm, I'm thinking, man, oh man. Jack comes up to me. He says, all right, Howard, what do you have? I said, stop. I don't know, Jack. Surprise me. So he brings me some pictures of my wife in the nude. <laughs> and then I saw Joe, the guy who was running across my lawn naked. I said, Joe, who told you you could fool around with my wife? He says, everybody. <laughs> I'm not saying she fools around a lot, but my memory full mattress forgot who the hell I am. I don't know. I mean, I... I said, come on, honey, why don't we have sex like we used to? She says, all right, give me a hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, I got kids too, you know. I'm married a long time. I'm married so long, God. I'm married so long. Too long. <laughs> no, I'm married so long, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this here. Okay, we have kids, you know. I'm telling you, we have kids. And it's so long, our anniversary's coming up. Yeah, that's right. She says to me, oh, take me someplace I've never been. I said, great, try the kitchen. <laughs> I'm telling I wasn't always like this. I was born this way, truly. I was an ugly kid, I'm still ugly. When I was born, I was so ugly, the doctor slapped me, my mother, and my father. <laughs> the old man comes to and says, Doc, Doc, how's he doing? How's he doing? Doctor looks at my old man and says, I'm sorry. We did everything possible, but he's still going to survive. Nice. Ugly. <laughs> yeah, I was ugly. If I, if I was Chinese, they could have called me ugly. <laughs> yeah, that's right. One time, one time I was walking I was by myself, a little boy. And, and I get lost, I see a policeman, I go up to him and say, Mr. Policeman, I'm lost, can you help me find my mommy and daddy? The cop looks at me and says, Kid, there's so many places they could hide. Yeah. Oh, that's right, no, it's true, it's true. You know, oh, yeah, it's tough being me, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You know, one time, I called up this one girl. You know, I, I wasn't successful with the ladies. And I called her up and I says, hi, this is Howard. And she says, Howard who? I says, Howard, the one that, the, the, the Howard that's, that's in your class. She says, oh, that Howard. I says, yeah, I'm in the neighborhood. I thought I could come up, stop over and, and see you. She says, sure, come on over. There's nobody home. She says, I went over. There was nobody home. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up, Mr. Howard Blake, as uh, Mr. Rodney Dangerfield.